Hi guys. So, as you can see, this is not an ASMR video, um, but I wanted to come on here and let you guys know feelings that I've been having lately. Um, this is probably not going to be easy to talk about, easy to say, and I didn't think I would get to this point, but I know I owe it to you guys to at least explain my story, um, explain where I'm at, explain what I'm thinking, explain what I've been feeling, and not just do it in word form. I want to actually show you guys the way that I'm feeling, the things that I'm seeing, and just everything. Excuse the glare on the lights. I do have my ring light on right now. Um, and I am wearing some glasses. Um, it's one of the things that I had to get done recently. I just got my pair of glasses. Um, so gonna be wearing these for a while. But anyways, um, I just wanted to, and also I got a cold sore. I don't know how that happened, but it is going away, thank God. And it was really, really painful. And I'm just glad that it's almost gone, but just ignore that. Um, anyways, I wanted to talk about the title of this video. Um, why I'm deciding to quit my ASMR channel. I started my ASMR channel back in 2020. And when I first started, it was just a way for me to escape my everyday. I was going through a lot of things that um, kind of, I just felt really stuck in my life. I felt like, you know, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something, you know, bigger than myself. and. I just wanted to escape the everyday that I was going through. And at the time I was living in an apartment that I couldn't stand. I couldn't stand it there. I couldn't stand just the things that we were going through there and just the environment that I was in. Um, I was having some family issues. I was having things that were occurring in my life that um, made it almost unbearable um and so i just wanted to kind of get out of that shell and really do something different and i came up with asmr and it just it just came up one day on my on my feed um on youtube and this particular video came up and i was just like what is this like this is so interesting um and i just you know started watching it more and more and at the time i didn't know what asmr was you know i I just thought it was just like people whispering and just just being in front of the camera and just just you know putting on a show or something. I had no idea what it was at the time. Um and I was hooked. From the minute I watched that video, I was hooked. I I mean, I was watching it every day. I was watching this particular person every day. Um and I just got more and more hooked and as time went on, I was like, you know, I really I really want to do this. I feel like this is something that I want to do and um you know, I want to I want to try it. I want to see where it goes, you know. And um I did. I did. I told my husband I wanted to make an ASMR channel. Um and it just led on from there. One thing led to another. I made my own channel. At first it was pretty it was it was pretty daunting um, because, you know, at the time, like I said, I was so new to it and it, it was new in general, but I was new to it. So I was just scared to put myself in that position. I was scared that, you know, I would be made fun of, be rejected. Um, I didn't really know also like where to start because there were so many videos out there of it that it was just like, okay, what is the first video do I make? And so I made a St. Patrick's Day video, um, just a 10 to 12 minute video, I believe, um, of just me eating St. Patrick's Day themed items. And um, that video maybe got 12 views, if not a little bit more after posting it. 
And so as time went on, I began to post more and more and more and more and more. At first I was getting a couple comments, you know, one or two, maybe a video. Um, there were times where I would get no comments, you know, just none, just, uh, you know, so I would do that on and on. I would continue to make videos and continue to put myself out there. Um, as time went on, I noticed that there were more people coming in. It wasn't just like, you know, a certain group. It was just like more, more um, people were becoming ASM artists. They were putting more out there. They were becoming, you know, these, these channels. And I felt, I almost felt like I was in, I was in for a loop. Like I, I, I just felt like, okay, what do I do? What can I, what can I do to make me feel different or make me be able to stand out in front of, you know, around all these people because I'm doing the same thing that they're doing. And it's like, I just feel so small and I feel, you know, so, I just feel so small, right? So how do I, what can I do to make me different? What can I do to stand out? And so that came about Jersey Girl. I created this character that um, was just, I, it just came in my head one day, like I'm from Jersey, like what can I do? What can I, what kind of thing can I create? And so Jersey Girl came about, um, created my first video with Jersey Girl. It went off. Um, at the time, I was friends with a couple ASM artists um, that I'm no longer friends with at this time. And they both commented on it and I felt so, I mean, I just felt amazing. I felt like, wow, they're seeing my, they're seeing my videos. Um, they are, you know, they're, they're acknowledging me. I'm actually getting recognition. You know, this is amazing. Like, let me continue this. and. I just, it just felt like almost like, like a high, you know, like I was being recognized and it felt really good for a while. Um, so I cr started creating more and more and more. Um, and so as I was creating more, I noticed that I was becoming um, sort of obsessed, if you will. I was obsessed with putting content out there. I was obsessed with the comments, the likes. Um, I was obsessed with the views. If I got 100 views on this video, I expected to get 100 views on the next and the next and next. And it was not always like that. Sometimes it would be, you know, this many views and then this view, you know, this amount of views on one video. And, and it just kept going on like that. And eventually I told myself, well, not every video is gonna do good and you just have to accept that. And I did and I overcame that. And that's what allowed me to keep going. That's what allowed me to keep doing videos. And eventually I, I just had that motivation like to just keep going and going, and going. And it was really, really good for a while. I was getting views, I was getting likes, I was getting comments. Um, and I was really, really enjoying myself. I was really, really enjoying what I was putting out there. One thing that I noticed though, was that every time I saw a creator create something, I wanted to do that too. I wanted to do that exact thing because it just made me, it made me want to be better. It made me want to be that person. But it was getting to the point where it was just overwhelming myself. Like I was actually putting myself down because I was seeing these other creators that had like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you know, getting hundreds of thousands of likes, 200 comments per video plus, you know, and I was here getting maybe 20 videos, I mean, 20 comments if I was lucky on a, on a video. and. You know, I would just beat myself up about it and it would just get to the point where it was very, very exhausting. Um, I felt like I was competing with them, but not competing with them, but I was competing with myself. I was trying to, I was trying to put myself in like in their bubble 
and no matter what I would do, I wouldn't get there. And I, it just got frustrating and frustrating and frustrating. And I became obsessed with just wanting to be like them. And no matter what you do in life, that is never okay. It's never acceptable to want to be... I mean, it's okay to want to be like somebody, but the level that it was at was just like... I want to be like them. That's not fair that they, you know, sit in front of a camera, barely do anything, get this many views. And it's just like, that's the kind of mindset that I was having. Um, and it, it, it just escalated from there. I feel like it was like an internal battle that I was having with myself. And it was showing in my videos. I was creating videos but I wasn't happy when I was creating them I was creating them just for the heck of it I would buy things just for the heck of it and I was really struggling inside and you know I would put my my props on I would I would put my wig on I would you know do do the the regular videos that I would do or I would put my nails on you know I would do it and then I would take it off and I would just be like this whole other person like it was almost like I was putting on a show and I just, I hated that feeling. I hated, okay, let me get ready for this video. Let me do the video. Okay, done, take it off. You know, like, and I just, I knew that that wasn't, that wasn't, it shouldn't be like that. You know, I shouldn't want to immediately remove my nails and immediately want to, you know, take my hair off and immediately want to do this and do that. And it's just like, why do I feel these feelings? Why am I so unhappy? You know, I'm happy when I'm creating the video, but after that, I'm just like, it, it's done. I want to take the video. I want to take the nails off. I want to do this. I want to do that. And so it got to the point where I just, I was getting tired of it. Um, I, if I'm being honest, and this is all honesty. And if I'm make anybody upset with this i'm sorry i just i just want to tell my truth and i just want to explain myself youtube in in general like i'm not talking asmr i'm talking everything in general it is a very competitive competitive platform you see so many people on there and you want to be just like them and you see what they have and you get this like this amount of like jealousy, rage, if you will, and it it takes over you. It, it makes you want to be just like them. You know, you you get the things that they get. You get you say the things they say or whatever, and you realize that no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter what you look like, you can never be them. And you just have to accept that maybe they had the luck that you don't or maybe you know it's just like in high school when when the girl's popular everybody goes to her you know it's not necessarily her content that's popular but maybe it's because she's pretty maybe because they want to feel superior like they want to have the fangirl moment if you will and be near her you know and, and that's what was in my head um and yeah you know i really shouldn't think like that but sometimes especially in today's world let's be honest you don't really have to be smart you don't have to do anything smart you don't have to go to college anymore you don't have to do all these sorts of things to become famous you could literally just turn a camera on film something post it boom you're famous next week like that's just how it is nowadays and it's it's for it, it when you want to be you know when you want to have a better life and not just luxurious but like a better life like you want to be able to help your husband you want to be able to help you know your family and you want to be able to help people it's it's frustrating to see others pe other people's success and not know you know not know how to top that if that makes sense so I think where I'm getting at with this is just I was getting that sort of like high, like motivation to film. 
and then I would get low motivation, high motivation, low motivation. It just kept, it just kept going like that. And it was just making me very, very closed off. I felt like I was becoming something that I didn't want to be anymore. And that was trying to be like other people. And, and, you know, the one thing that I tell myself is I don't want to be like anybody, anybody else. I am me. I'm here for a reason. And, you know, I'm here for a reason. And I'm not meant to be like the next person. I'm not meant to be meant to be like other people. I'm me. And that's all I can be. And if 2000 people, you know, like me enough to subscribe, then that's, that's, you know, that's, that it, it is what it is with that. And I'm happy about that. And I'm grateful. And I'm happy. And I don't want to sound ungrateful either. I want to let you guys know that I am grateful for every subscriber that subscribed to me for every like that you guys have put out. I mean, I, I had people commenting from the very beginning still like just a couple weeks ago, like, I mean, it's, it's amazing that you guys are still here with me and I appreciate every single one of you. And I, in the beginning, I didn't think I was going to have 3000 subscribers, let alone 3,200. Like this is, this, it just exceeds my expectations. And I, I, I mean, I had other channels before, like I tried to do other content before and it never actually got to that level. It never got to the 3000 and I, I just, I wasn't expecting that with this and, and I got that and I'm just so grateful and I, I want you guys to know that, that I'm grateful for you. I really, really, really am. But I can't do something that I'm not happy with. I, I, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm at my end with it, if that makes sense. Like I, I feel like I was doing it just to do it and just to put videos out there. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to exhaustingly put videos out there and watch myself like fade. You know what I mean? Like I just don't want to do it. And you just have to be happy with what you're doing. Anything in life, you have to be happy because if you're not happy, it's not going to help anybody. It's not definitely not going to help you, you know? And I'm not saying that I'm not happy with the videos, like the, the, the YouTube, like I'm happy with doing YouTube. I love doing YouTube and it's still my dream to do YouTube. It really is. It's still my dream to be able to take care of my family, to be able to provide for my family with YouTube. Um, you know, and, and that's, that's the truth, but it's just ASMR in general is just not, it's not where my heart is at this time. And I just think that it's just so overcrowded that the platform is so overcrowded with people doing ASMR that it's almost, it's almost too much, you know, it, it it's overcrowded. It feels too heavy and it's just honestly it's just too much to handle i don't know if everybody else feels that way i don't know if it's just me it, but it just feels like there's so much competition um that it's just it's it's exhausting and like i know people are gonna say well you know you do it for the fun you do it for to help people and yes i agree but when it comes down to wanting to help people but at the same time being miserable because you just don't feel good enough it can get to an unhealthy state um and i don't want to live that way anymore um so with that being said i thought okay what can i do to still be able to do youtube still be able to talk to you guys still be able to have this sort of this this platform this community that we've built because i i appreciate every single one of you and i mean that and i said well i love to talk to people i love to communicate i love to listen to what you guys have to say like when you guys tell me like you know you've helped me this is what happened this week you know you've you've helped me get over that and i just i just love that i love being able to see those comments and I want to help you guys. I 
love to listen to people's issues. I love to be there and be a supportive hand. I've had many people in the past tell me you're a good listener. You know, you, you tell me like it is, you know, you told me this advice and it worked for me or whatever the case may be. And I love to listen to people's problems and I love to give them advice. And I'm, I'm like, I, I feel like I'm like a counselor almost. Like I've had so many people come to me for advice and I tell them what to do and and I just love it. I love that communication. Um so I decided I would like to do a podcast. Um and I knew that I I knew that I wanted to do a podcast where I could be able to talk to people be able to communicate with them and for them to have some sort of impact. Um, and I said to myself, okay, well, if I, if I love to listen to people's stories, how do I, how do I mash that into a podcast? Um, so I was thinking that I would have the viewers, you guys, my subscribers, if you would still want to be a part of, of my channel or my journey here on YouTube, um, then you could subscribe to the new channel um, and you could email my email. And if you guys have anything that's happening in your life, like you have any, you know, questions or you have a, a certain issue that you're going through that you just can't seem to, you know, keep, seem to overcome or whatever the case may be and you just need somebody to talk to, you could email that email, email your story and I could you know, talk about it on the podcast and I could tell you, okay, well, you know, this is what I would do. You know, I would do this, I would do that, you know, and just kind of give my input and maybe that could help some of you guys. And it's, it's not really a counselor. Like it's not really like a therapist sort of, I don't want you guys to think like, I want to be like a therapist podcast or whatever it is. Um, I know that's, that's how it sounds, but that's not, that's not really where I'm going at. I really just want to, be that hand, you know, be that hand. And I'm not a therapist. I don't have any certificates or anything like that. So I can't really be that, but I want to be that friend. I want to be that podcast that you go to and you, you know, you put a smile on your face, you know, and, you know, really help people with their issues and listen to them. And, and, you know, some people, they feel like they don't have anybody to talk to. And I, for a while felt that, like, I felt like I had nobody to talk to. And, um, so, you know, I just, I just came up with that. And I think that it would really, really make an impact. I really do. And, um, I don't know. I just feel like it would be something that I would love to do. And who knows where it could take me, but I want to, I want to give it that shot, you know, and, and I want to give it that shot because, I believe that it can help so many people and that's what I love to do. I love helping people. So if you guys would like to be a part of that and for those of you that don't, I completely understand um, for those of you that are just here for ASMR, but for those of you that aren't and you know, want to be a part of that journey with me, you can. And the podcast is called be the true you podcast. Um, if you want to, you can subscribe to that. I'll put the link in the description box below. You could just scroll down to the to my description, click on the link and subscribe. Um, if you do subscribe, I would be really appreciative of that. I'm gonna be doing like a introducing myself kind of video soon on that channel. And I just, I'm really, really excited to see where this journey takes me. If you would like to subscribe to that, please do. Um, and I will be using an app on my phone for the podcast. Um, I found a specific one that will be able to like record my face and record my audio. Um, I might use my Blue Yeti. I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work, um, but I will, you know, figure that out. But yeah, I, I just want to really thank you guys for being a part of this journey with me. You have changed my life and you've given me a confidence that I didn't have before. And I just really, really appreciate that. And I don't wanna lose you guys. That's the number one thing. I don't want to let this channel 
go to waste and I don't want you to feel like it's going to go to waste. I'm going to leave all my videos on here, all my shorts, everything that I've done is going to remain on here. And maybe later on I'll come back and do more videos. Like maybe this is just, this is just, you know, what's going to happen for now. And maybe I'll come back later. But for right now, I just, I just don't, I don't feel like this is my path anymore. I'm sorry to whoever that upsets, but it's the truth. So anyways, I just wanted to come on here and explain myself a little bit better. I hope that I'm not disappointing too many of you, but I do have to think about myself and think about what's going to make me happy. And it's, it's not the end. It's just a new, a new channel a new approach, a new something that I don't feel like is too clustered. Like I know there's other podcast channels and stuff like that, but I feel like within that there's other niches, if you will, like there's other topics. And I feel like mine is a little bit like unique, you know what I mean? So I feel like ASMR is just so overflowed, but it's just like with podcasts, it's like you can make it your own. You can make it your style, your whatever you want to talk about. You know what I mean? So it's like not everyone is the same. And I think that that will really, really help me out because um, I do want to stay on YouTube. I do want to continue to do YouTube and I really enjoy it. And I, like I said, I don't want to lose you guys. So, um, I hope that you guys will follow me to my next journey, follow me to my new channel. Like I said, I will leave that link in the description box below. If you guys have any questions, anything you wanna share with me or whatever, you can always uh, leave a comment down below. But um, you know, if you have anything you wanna say, just let me know. Also the email that you can email for these, uh, these stories that I will be talking about on my podcast channel, the email will be on the about page on my new channel. I will put in there, like if you if you wanna email me about your issue, email this email, but it's gonna be be the true you podcast at gmail.com, but it'll be on the about page on my new channel as well. But anyways, I just wanted to explain myself, like I said, and I love you guys, I appreciate you, and I will see you on the other side. Bye.